my vanilla lattes and welcome back. To our ASMR channel, I'm feeling very relaxed. I'm very happy to be spending time with you. If this is your first time stopping by, my name is Lori Latte. It's very nice to meet you. Please make yourself at home and be sure to hit that subscribe button. I hope everybody's happy and healthy. Today's Tuesday, y'all. Yay! Super happy. I did a pink look. And when I do pink, I get happy, y'all. I get happy. I did these really pretty pale pink nails. Did a pink look with my makeup pink backdrop, not to mention my new tie-dye pink top. See how it has dark pink and light pink? Okay, I'm fascinated by this color. I just am. So I have a great one for you today because I have two new Starbucks tumblers. Plus, I'm going to talk about how I created this look today, the pink look, okay? But first and foremost, wearing my pink ring. You see how it has a very light pink stone in it? These nails are everything. These are kiss nails, just in case you were wondering. Always hits a spot. I love this top. Roger got it at the thrift. Let me see if I can show it to you. See how it has yellow in it, but mostly, mostly pink. It's mostly pink, y'all. So I have two new Starbucks tumblers. Okay, super excited. I've always wanted one of those really tall Starbucks tumblers, okay, but they're pricey, super pricey. They have some that are textured. I don't own one of those, okay. I've seen them for $30. I've seen them for $40. I've never even seen them at Starbucks because here in my hometown, they don't have them. So I went on eBay. Looked for one on eBay, okay. And I found one. I found one like that. $15. Free shipping. It's new. This Because you can get a, a used one. I would have bought a used one. But I found a new one. You're going to freak out. Because I did. You're going to freak out when you see this beauty right here. This gorgeous tumbler. Look, it's the big tall one. You see? You see how it's a big tall? I don't own any of these until now. This is my first tall Starbucks tumbler. Okay. Just in case you didn't know, I collect these. I'm a collector. I don't drink their coffee because I can't afford it and it's too strong for me. But I do collect ceramic coffee mugs by them cold cups, but look at this. Look. First and foremost, it's pink. It's holographic. Look at how beautiful that is. It's layered. 
it's layered. Now this is a 2021 holiday cup. Okay, I love that. Anything holiday related. I had no clue. I saw it and I wanted it for $15, no free shipping. But it's a holiday cup from last year, is what the description said. Look at this beauty. That could be on a billboard. Starbucks, I'll be on a billboard for you if you allow it. Thumbnail. Look, the cap. The lid is this beautiful shade of pink. Of course, it's plastic. It's got the pink straw. fascinated. I'm fascinated by this. Okay. It's everything I could ever want in a tall Starbucks tumbler. And for $15, y'all, the inside it's like pretty pink this is lovely y'all this is beyond lovely okay of course it has the really cute pink straw you guys I haven't seen anybody anybody on YouTube with a Starbucks tumbler like this one season after November. I will feature this in some videos. You can count on it. You can count on it. This is gorgeous, you guys. It's gorgeous. So I've been wanting uh, a cold cup Starbucks. I already own several, not that many, but some months ago I ordered one from Krista out of Warped Design Co. because she does vinyl art now. And so she'll buy the Starbucks cold cups and she decorates them. So she, she customized one for me. It's beautiful. I've already shown it to you guys. It's not pink, so I'm not going to show it to you today. I've been wanting another one that's pink because the one she made for me is turquoise with brown. It's got coffee beans all over it and coffee cups all over it. It's beautiful. It's fascinating. But I've been wanting that same cold cup with pink on it. So I'm always checking out her Etsy shop. Always checking out her nails and always looking because she doesn't feature the cold cups very often because as soon as she features them, they sell out. Well, I got lucky. I got lucky.
look at this. This is a Halloween decor. The 24 ounce Starbucks cold cup. Like I said, as soon as she gets these into her Etsy shop. Because everybody wants these. And then look, look at her craftsmanship. Look at the art. This is adorable Halloween. Look, there's a little heart, the little black skeleton. Look at these little stars, like a fuchsia, brilliant color. Okay, another little heart. Look, this is adorable, y'all. It's adorable. Look, there's some candy. Candy. Okay. This is crazy. Look at the little pink skull. This is, look, there's another candy right there. Look, she goes all out when she decorates these. Look at, look at how, look, you got the red skull, pink skull. There's a little po potion bottle with a potion in it. You see that? Look, look at how cute the skull with a little red, little beanie. Sorry, pink. But look, what got me on this one, you guys, what sold me, what sold me on this one is the pink cobweb. I love this. I love this, Krista. You know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. I checked out her Etsy shop this morning, and she's still got some of these. Not too many people have them in their carts. And they're not expensive. Okay, and the shipping is very reasonable. So if you like this, go check it out. I think it was $15. And shipping's like $5. It's so affordable. She has a black one, but it's not Starbucks. But it's I wanted that one too. It's black, but it has cobwebs all over it. It's got this fans fascinating Halloween design. She's still got that one too. I'm going to list her Etsy shop. Go check it out. If you really like it and you really want it, you have to go today. But look how cute this is. Look. I'm so happy I got it. I've been wanting this pink cold cup for some time, but she ran out of them for a while. I happened to look in her Etsy shop and BAM! Look at the detail. So my collection's complete now. I got the turquoise one and I got the pink one. I'm just saying, maybe in the future, maybe, I'll get a purple one. share the makeup of the day with you. I did a particular pink look. And it came out perfect. Okay, I did the pink backdrop as you can see. Layered with the pink nails. Everything's in order. Everything, everything's in order. I did two different earrings and that's how I roll. Okay, don't try this at home. Two different pink earrings. So I'm going to start off with this gorgeous lip color. I just got this in a boxy charm last week. It's a lip oil by a company called Teneus. I've never experienced a lip oil like this. Okay, I just haven't. It's almost like a lip gloss lip oil, but look at how colorful it is. It's this beautiful shade. 
This is called Sunset to the Stars. I'm fascinated. I'm fascinated. It is so pretty. The packaging is everything on this one. Look, look what I'm talking about. This clear little container. You can see how shimmery and dark pink the shade is. Again, this is a lip oil, but it feels like a lip gloss. It's not tacky in any way. It's not sticky. This stuff is awesome. It smells delicious. Of course, this probably retails for $20 or $25 out in the real world, but I got it in a boxy charm. I got it in my August boxy charm. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. It's so creamy. It's so shimmery. This smells like coconut. It smells like coconut. It has that dough foot applicator, so it goes on like magic. It goes on like, like magic. Just loving this. So I tried a new foundation. Okay, I have a new ColourPop foundation. I did haul it already, but I hadn't tried it. And this is the Pretty Fresh. Pretty Fresh. It has hyaluronic acid in it. Okay. I think the coverage is perfect. It's not thick, it's not thin. It is hydrating. Here it is. I did mix it with just a touch of Milani. I have a Milani skin tint. It's called Glow. Because this is like just a hair too light. Of course, I did get a tan this summer. You see? So I do have a little bit of color on my face. And that's probably why. Because I got it in the shade medium, but it's like a medium light. I'm a true medium. Watch, let's do a little little swatcheroo. Why in the world did I pump out so much? That wasn't necessary. But look, you see how it's just a little runny? You see how it's just, just slightly too light for me. Now once I blend it in, Everything's fine. You see, once I blend it in, everything's fine. But do you see how it's just a hair, just a hair too light? And so I did mix in a little bit of the medium, and it's perfect. You see how my face is glowing? And the coverage is perfect. It's right there. So, and it's fragrance-free. It's hydrating. There it is. Now for blush, y'all, I went with the Lizzie McGuire ColourPop. This blush is so pretty. It's very strong pink color, and it has a shimmer in it. So when I want to do a really nice pink look, I'm going to go with this one. Because I wanted it to go with this 
If I want to do a lighter pink, I use the Yud Cosmetics Ombre Radiance. But I want to do a strong pink, I'm going to go with Lizzie McGuire. Let me show it to you. You've seen it before. Look at the packaging. is adorable. Look at how pretty. You see that? It's so pretty. Look at this. I'm so happy. And I think I paid $5 for this on clearance with ColourPop. Look how pretty it's got the flowers encrypted on the blush. It's super creamy. Look, I told you, look how strong that is. You see how strong, but it has that glitter factor, that shimmer factor, which I love. But the most exciting product I use today is this right here. This is a mini palette by ColourPop. It's the 143. I think it's discontinued, y'all. I'm sure you can find it. Macari, Poshmark, eBay. Crystal got this for me. Crystal's Beauty Deal Shop a few months ago. I hadn't used it until today, but look. You can create some amazing pink looks with this one, y'all. Super affordable, but look. You talk about stunning pink in a little mini look. I'm wearing this in the crease, that on the lid. I did that as a primer and that on the brow bone. I'm going to swatch it for you, okay? Very, very creamy, very creamy. You just have to be really careful with these palettes because sometimes the pans fall out. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five. It's a stunning palette if you can get your hands on it. It's super inexpensive. And you can create whatever pink look you like. You see, I put the glitter there, and the crease is this shade right here on the crease. Brow bone, I use that as a primer, and that's on the lid. I'm just saying, y'all, I am so happy I have this palette. So that's all I have for you today. I'm so happy I got to spend some time. Catch up with you real soon.